children i am rupali jaisuka i am going to take your first session of class 6 chapter 1 now before that how are you all i hope you all are fit and fine and safe at your home and helping your parents aren't you i am sure you are helping your parents so let's begin today's session the first chapter knowing our numbers today we are going to cover building the numbers with the given digits arranging the numbers in ascending order and descending order and if we have time we will cover the expanded form also or it will continue to the next session so let's start with our first activity i have number cards here i am going to arrange it on the table so just have a close look over the table i have the digits here four 0 5 7 these are the four digits given to you to form the greatest four digit number now what you have to do among this you compare which is the greatest digit among this which is the greatest digit yes it's 7 after that it goes for 5 then 4 and z yes here you are you have already formed a greatest four digit number 7540 now the second thing is you have to form the smallest number using the same digits let's do it again now what do you think which is the smallest one digit number 0 or 1 Zero or one. Think and decide. Is it the smallest one-digit number? Is zero or one? Let me give you one example which can help you to find the answer. If you are going to a shop and want to purchase a notebook, you ask for a notebook. The shopkeeper will say it is costing for rupees forty, or will he say rupees zero forty? What do you think? You will say rupees forty. Yes. So have you ever seen writing the zero at first place when you write the number? Just have a close look on the table. Do we write any zero at the first place while forming the numbers? Even if you form, what will happen? If you put zero at the first place, then which is the smallest digit? Four. Then five. Then seven. What do you think? Is it a correct order? Will you read this number as zero thousand four hundred fifty-seven? No, we don't read this number, so zero is gone from here. But the number is left with three digits. Is it correct way? No. You have to form the smallest four-digit number. You have to use four digits. Now, what do you do? Where the zero will place? Let's try one more time. Four is the smallest digit amongst these. Then we will place zero, then five, and then seven. Now just think: Is it a correct way? Yes, this is the correct way. You have formed the four digit smallest number, which is four thousand fifty seven. Here we are with the uh, second activity. Again, I am using the number cards, but this time it's a little bit tricky. So I am giving you only three digits: nine, three, and zero. Nine, three, and zero. You have to use three digits, but you have to form four-digit number. Now you are allowed to use any one digit twice. You are allowed to use any digit twice and form four digit number. So now if you are forming the greatest number you will choose the greatest digit here which is 9. That you have to use twice. 
so one more time nine then three and then zero so here you got the four digit number nine thousand nine hundred thirty now you have to form the smallest number here we start with our third activity again with the number cast and again with the different twist I am using the digits 9, 8, 6 and 7. In this activity, the condition is while forming the greatest number as well as smallest number, 7 has to come at one's place. What is the condition here? 7 has to come at one's place while forming the greatest number and smallest number. So here we are. When we are forming the number, 7 is the last digit which will come under 1's place order. Now you have to use 0 to 9 digits and think what should come here to form the greatest 4 digit number. The greatest digit is from 0 to 9 is 9 then 8 and what will come 7 you can't use here as already the condition is 7 has to be at one's place so before 7 it comes 6 so now the number 4 digit the greatest number is from 9867 with the condition that 7 has to be at one's place similarly now you have to form the smallest digit number smallest digit number with the four digit only and with the condition that seven has to be the last digit as once seven as seven <laughs> now we have to form smallest four digit number with the same condition that 7 has to be at 1's place. Now think from 0 to 9 and form the smallest 4 digit number. What should it come? So first place it will come 1, then 0, then what do you think? Yes, 2. So here you are with the 4 digit smallest number. 1027 with the condition 7 is at the last place that is 1's place. Yes, so students whatever we have done activities just now here in the questionnaire based on that you have to solve them and if any queries, any difficulties, any clarity you need you can comment. I will clear your doubts. Now we will start with ascending order. Here we have written the numbers. Now what is the first step? What you have to do? The first step is whatever the given numbers, you have to count all the digits. Right? 1, 2, 3. There are 3 digits in first number. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 digits in second number. 1, 2, 3, 4 are here. 1, 2, 3. Here. Now we are arranging in ascending order. Ascending means from smallest to biggest we have to arrange the numbers. So amongst these which has three digits. So we have two numbers which has three digits. 847 and 571. After that what you will do? You will check the first digit. Here we have 8. And here we have 5. We are arranging in ascending order. So go for the smallest number first. So 571 will be the first one. I am numbering the numbers in order. Now the second will go this one. Now we have 4 digit numbers go. Again the same thing. You go and check the first digit, compare which is the smallest one because we are forming ascending number. 
So now ascending order. What we will go first? This or this? Yes, this one. And this will be the fourth one. Now you have to arrange it in a smallest to biggest order. The smallest one is here. 5, 71. After that, 8, 47. Then the third one will come 8,320. And the last one will come 9,754. Okay? Clear? Now we will see about the sending order. Here are a few numbers I have written. Again, the first step counting the digits. So let's count the digits. In first number, we have 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 digits. 1, 2, 3, 4 digits. Now we are forming this in a descending order. Descending order means from biggest to smallest number you have to write. Now, whichever has the maximum number of digits, that is the biggest number. So, this is the biggest number here. This one, we will number it. Now, the second one. We have this and this. Compare the first digit. 7, 7 is same. Go for the second digit. 5 and 8. So, which is the greater here? 8. This will be the second one. It will go as third and this will be the last. Now, we will rewrite in a correct order, in descending order. The first one will go as 85,400. Second will be 7,861. Third will be 7500 and fourth will be 5000. Yes, this is the correct order right in the descending numbers. This is the second question I have which I am sending you. I am going to share the link and you can answer. And same thing, if you have any doubts, queries, you can come. It will be clear in our next session. So here we are starting with the expanded form. Now the number is given. The first thing first, we will write the placeholders on top of the each region. This is ones, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand and lakh. Now let's see what is happening here. When you do the expanded form, this is to get multiplied by ones. That means one. Is equal to it becomes two. Then four. Four is at tens place, so four gets multiplied by ten, so it becomes forty. Five is at the hundreds place, so five is multiplied by hundred, it becomes five. 3 on the thousand space gets multiplied by 1000, it becomes 3000. 5 on the 10,000 space, 5 multiplied by 10,000. So, 50,000. 3 on the lakh position. So, 3 will multiply by 1 lakh. So, it's 5. Ultimately, if we have total this, we will get the same number. We are using the same number. Suppose I will have the line number 5 here. 
Number five has come under ten thousands placeholder. So number five, if we write the place value of five here, it will become fifty thousand. And place value will be five. Yes. This is the expanded form. We are following the placeholders here. We are multiplying. Then we get the same. We check the same number if we get or not. If we want to write place value and place value, we are again going to look at the which is the placeholder here. And then we are multiplying by ten thousand. So fifty thousand is the place value, and place value is five. This is the questionnaire based on uh, place value and place value. If you have any doubt, please you can post it up there. So whatever we have learned today, this is the questionnaire based on that. You have to solve it. Again, if you have any difficulties, queries, or any problem to understand any concept, please.